In this video, I'm going to go over cleaning your machine and maintaining it so that it works well for years and years and years. In order to do this, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need a small brush, which you can find in the sewing machine accessory department, a tiny screwdriver, which works for your machines and getting out your needles and, and your foot, and then also a small piece of cotton cloth, like muslin, something that doesn't have any fuzzies or texture because we don't want that to get caught into our machine. That's what we're going to be cleaning out today. So let's get started. The first step is we're going to dust the sewing machine. I'm just using a piece of muslin here as my dust cloth and I'm making sure that it's dry. I don't really want to use any liquid that can get into the cracks of my machine and then get inside to where it can damage it. So I'm just starting at the top and I'm working my way down. This is so I don't get dust in the parts that I've already cleaned and I can just continue to just work my way down. And it's a good idea also to use a sewing machine cover to cover your machine in between sewing jobs. This is just keeps some of the dust off of it. So I'm just going to carefully get off all this dust. And don't forget to also get behind the machine. And then once you're done with that, we can move on to the next part of cleaning our machine. So for the next step, make sure that your sewing machine is unplugged. Um, we're going to be working in this area now. So you're going to take your muslin, and I have it just folded in half here, and we're going to stick it in these little gaps in the sewing machine, just like this very carefully. And you're just going to wipe down the inside. And it's not just dust that gets inside of our machine. It's also bits of thread, and I'm not talking about like a whole strand of thread, but little fuzzy, especially with the lower quality threads, they come off and they get lodged inside the machine. So we just want to kind of take care of this area here. And uh, some people could well use like um, canned air to blow into it. If you do use that, just make sure that you hold it at least four inches away because we don't want any of the liquid inside there to get inside the machine. The same with blowing into your machine. If you blow into your machine, there's gonna be moisture in your breath, so that's not a good idea either, which is why I'm just using this dry piece of muslin to get in there and kind of dislodge all those thread fuzzies. So that seems like that's pretty good. So now we're gonna to move to the lower half of the machine. The next step now is we want to remove the cover for our bobbin and take out our bobbin. And obviously if you have one that, that opens up down here, you're going to do it that way. Mine's just a little bit different. And then you're going to take your soft brush and you're just going to brush the inside of here because since it houses thread in the bobbin, you do get a built up of thread dust down here as well. Now some machines requ require that you use some machine oil, but that's mostly for the older machines. You want to refer to your sewing machine manual in order to see if you need to add sewing machine oil. Mine doesn't need it. And uh, the next step after that is we're going to remove our needle. And I'm going to use my screwdriver here. And then I'm going to remove the foot right here. So this is coming off. And then we're going to be working down here. So now we're going to be working around this part right here with the feed teeth area. The first thing you're going to do is lower the feed teeth. And I have a little wheel underneath my arm here where I just move it and see it pop down there. I also have a little notch right on the back of this plate and I have a sewing machine tool that came with my machine. I'm just going to stick it in there and rotate it and see how this just slides out like that. And then again I'm going to use my brush and just wipe around it very carefully. Some dust here. Okay a lot of dust that got to see that there's my dust now once this part is done all we're going to do is just put our machine back the way it was for more extensive cleaning you're definitely going to want to refer to your sewing machine manual 
and then for major cleaning it's recommended that you take your machine into a sewing machine repair place for sort of like a cleaning tune-up about every one to two years that way you can make sure that it, it stays running properly all right so I think I have enough dust collected here so I'm going to go ahead and replace my little plate here Just snap that back in the feet teeth come up I'm going to put the foot back on and then I'm going to put the needle back in but I would recommend starting fresh with a new needle whenever you do this cleaning and depending on how often you use your machine if you use it a lot you might want to do this once a month if you just use your machine every once in a while maybe do it every couple of months so new sewing machine needle goes right back in there and then the bobbin cover gets replaced and there you go now you have a nice clean machine